This session on sacrifice and atonement really provides, I think, a good opportunity to take a pause in a sense or to come back to the essentials of the gospel. You know, one of the things we talk about a good bit in the church at pastors is reminding yourself of the gospel and, in a sense, preaching the gospel to yourself on a daily basis. Just waking up in the morning and saying, okay, there's nothing I can do to earn greater status before God, favor with God today. It's already been done for me yeah. in the cross of Christ. He has paid the price. His sacrifice once for all is good. And so I can live out of the joy and the overflow of that. And so amidst all these things, as we're teaching people to obey Christ, as you're teaching people to obey the commands of Christ, how to live this out, to constantly bring them back to this is the overflow of a place of rest in the sacrifice. So all that we're doing mm -hmm. is the overflow of, of resting and what has been done for yeah. us. I mean, that was the idea of the Day of Atonement, was mm -hmm. this animal was taking, you know, they weren't earning their forgiveness. Right. They just saw this animal take it, pay mm -hmm. for, you know, pay for their crime. And there's, not, there's no making up. And, mm -hmm. and so it's a great time to have this discussion because mm -hmm. we're all, I think we're all somewhat conditioned toward works yeah. because there's nothing else like this in life. We're just mm -hmm. used to working or earning, you know, unless your parents just give you everything. But, mm -hmm. you know, for the most part, a lot of us, it's just like, I had to earn this, I had to scrape by this. Mm -hmm. And so to just rest and get in their mindset of they understood nothing I can do to make up for my mm -hmm. sin. Um, Oh, and, the, and to see that animal have to take it, you, you know, and obviously we, we apply that to the cross now. Mm -hmm. And it was a picture of that, beautiful picture of it. But it would be a good time to maybe have discussion of, you know, okay, let's, let's be honest here. Are there times when you try to make up for something you did or maybe mm -hmm. feel the guilt a little bit mm -hmm. longer to show mm -hmm. God you're really sorry mm -hmm. or maybe have a, you know, a track record. Okay, now it's really good. Now we can approach God because I, I you know, took some time and made up mm -hmm. for it. And the thing that helped me with all of that is realizing that when I get in that mode of trying to make up for my sin, the attention is all on me. Yeah. Look what I did, Lord. Right. You know, I, I know I blew it, but what did I do the next two weeks? Right. What did I do the next three weeks? You know, who, who are we looking at yeah. versus God, I blew it. Someone else, Jesus took that for yeah. me, like all the focus. And that's what God wants for all of eternity. Everyone looking at the lamb and going, he did it, he did it, he did it. And, and maybe you spend some time this week just in thanksgiving, mm -hmm. just, just ending your time with, with your disciple. Like, you know, maybe you take communion, mm -hmm. you, you know, like Jesus commanded. I, I think that's part of communion was he wanted us to remember that. And, and so just to take some time and go, let's, let's remember this is not about us. Here's what it's about. Well, that's why we, we in the church I pastor take communion every week. And I'm not saying that every church should do that, but it's, it's a needed reminder for us yeah. every week. Okay, God's pleasure in me is not based on my performance for Him, but on Christ's performance for me. That's yeah. a needed reminder. And a needed reminder for the people you're walking through in these disciple-making relationships. And then to think about, okay, who are the, how are people around, how do I see people around me trying to overcome their sin? How do I see people around me trying to make themselves better? That is the name of the game today, like self-improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Do this, do this, do this, and everything. Yeah. And we have a message that is the complete opposite. Like Jesus has paid the price and he will make you new from mm -hmm. the inside out. And so let even this reminder of the grace of Christ just be further motivation for sharing the gospel. Yeah. Coming back around to that question, who can you share this with? Like exactly. this is not just for us. Who this week to ask the people you're discipling? Like who can you share with this week? And then when you come back together next week, or whenever you get back together, say, all right, how did it go? And so yeah. to really build in, hey, we want to intention this this news of a sacrifice of a Christ uh, of Christ. He has made it possible for us to be one with God. Mm -hmm. We've got to make this known. We can't just talk about this over breakfast. Yeah, they have to understand that atonement because we live in a world where so many people believe that they're going to be forgiven because they are good people mm -hmm. and that they've done more good than bad and that's somehow made up for it. So you've got to stress mm -hmm. that understanding of what was that day of atonement? 
what did that, what happened there, and this is not about me, it's about that sacrifice. So worship, thank God for it, and just rest in His atonement this week.